In this video, I will show you a simple way to migrate the Nintendo Switch SD card with the MUMMC in the raw partition to a bigger card using a Linux-based script. Let's get started. I created two videos on upgrading a Nintendo Switch SD card with the MUMMC in the raw partition to a larger one. Those methods demanded a ton of tools, were complex, impractical, and prone to errors, leaving many users frustrated. So I developed a simple Linux based script to automate everything. It's much easier but requires Linux. Linux excels at managing partitions like a pro. Windows tools can't handle raw partitions like Linux. Some consider WSL2, but I've tried it, it's a pain and not advised. Instead, run Ubuntu through VMware. It's far more practical. Linux is the only way to ace this. Let's dive in and see how this script makes it effortless. To follow this guide, you must have Linux. Any Linux distribution will work. If you prefer running Linux alongside Windows, VMware is a great option. However, this guide won't cover installing Linux or VMware. You can find many helpful YouTube tutorials for those steps. And you must have a modded Nintendo Switch with MUMMC installed in a raw partition. If your MUMMC is set up as SD files, this guide won't apply, but a simple copy-paste method will work. Next, you need to have an SD card reader and a USB Type-C cable for data transfer. Before we proceed, let's verify the existing MUMMC condition, health, and size to ensure it's ready for migration. For this example, I configured the MUMMC to 12GB, resulting in 9.1GB for the MUMMC's NAN partition and 84.4GB for the FAT32 partition. I'm using a 128GB SD card as the source. Now let's try running a game. Let's assume I want to migrate this MUMMC, including its games, to a 256GB SD card. Let's restart the console and boot it back to Hecate. Now let's examine the current SD card partition layout. There are two ways to mount the source and target SD card. First, use Hecate's USB tools to mount the source SD card and a card reader to mount the target SD card. To access the source SD card, use a USB Type-C cable and connect your console to a computer. Navigate to Tools, select USB Tools, then choose SD card. Then insert the target SD card into the card reader. The second method uses a single SD card reader like the Kingston Mobile Lite G4 to read two SD cards simultaneously. You'll need an SD card adapter to mount two micro SD cards at the same time. Before getting and running the script, you must mount the source and target SD cards in the Linux environment. I'm using Ubuntu, and you can see two USB icons here, already mounted. Now get into the NX Migrator GitHub page. Click the Releases page and download the latest script. Open the Downloads folder by clicking the folder icon. Right-click on the empty space in the Downloads folder and select Open in Terminal. On the terminal, type exactly the same as I did. Then type the same command again as shown on the screen. and then type in your root password. On this screen, press enter. Then type in your source SD card device ID. In my case, it is SDC. Next, enter the target SD card device ID. For me, it is SDB. Review your selection, then type yes. 
the script will begin backing up the raw partition to the local drive. This process will take some time to complete. Next, the script will prompt you to wipe and restore the raw partition to the target SD card. Type yes to proceed. The restoration process will take some time to complete. At this stage, do not interrupt the process. It may appear frozen, but it is actively writing to the raw partition to the target SD card. Let it complete without disruption. Now, the script is copying the FAT32 content directly from the source SD card to the target SD card. Please wait until it is completed. At this prompt, type yes to delete the raw image from the local drive. I selected yes. The migration using the script is now complete. Next, we will perform additional steps in Hecate. Insert the target SD card into the console and boot into Hecate. Select MUMMC, choose Migrate MUMMC, and click Fix Raw. Then press Continue and select OK. Close the page and select Tools. Choose ArcBit. Then select Fix Archive Bit. Close the page and launch the MUMMC. Navigate to the System Settings and select Data Management. You'll see the expanded SD card capacity. Now try launching any game. That's it, the migration is complete, and all your games will run on the new SD card. Thank you for watching, and I hope this guide was helpful.